Hello again. Welcome to Verbling. Hi there. I'm Teacher Oakley. And uh, once again, if we, as we've been doing the last few days, we're going to take a look at phrasal verbs in this class at this hour. Today, uh, especially, we're going to be looking at phrasal verbs, which can also be used uh, perhaps in a slightly different version as an adjective. Okay, so these are phrasal verbs that also have an adjective form. Uh, we'll, we're going to do this by uh, doing an exercise together, fill in the blank exercises, and uh, uh, as we go along, we'll talk about other uses, uh, other definitions of the phrasal verbs or uh, anything else that happens to come up as we're learning about these particular phrasal verbs. Uh, welcome to the class, Zuli. Uh, hello. How are you? Good morning. Hello. Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. Good morning. Depending good morning on where you are. Good morning for, for me. me. Good morning for you. Zuli, uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Spain. From Madrid. From Madrid? Okay. Yes, in Spain. Uh, very nice. Okay, uh, welcome to the class. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, what time is it there? Uh, I, I'm an American, Zuli, but I live in the Philippines. So uh -huh. here in the Philippines, it's 2 in the afternoon. Uh-huh. Yes. yes. It is they suddenly... It has suddenly gotten suddenly very, gotten dark. very dark. <laughs> I expect a rain shower. Yeah, it's the time for lunch in Spain. For for lunch? Oh, as a matter of fact, I just had my lunch. So, yeah. Uh, hello, Michael. Hi, 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 Teacher Oakley. How are you? What did you have for lunch? <laughs> Uh, I had fried fish and um, basically stir-fried vegetables and rice. What type of fish? Fried fish. It was pollock, just white fish. Fried. No, the name. The name of the fish. Uh, pollock. Pollock. How do you spell that? Can you write in the chat? Sure. It's a, It's actually an Atlantic fish. I will look up if I. Uh... I, if we have here this type. Probably do. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if it was Pollock or Cream Dory. It might have been Dory. Do you buy the fish from the store? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course. Okay. Yeah. It might have been Dory. I don't know. Either way. <laughs> Whatever. It was fish. <laughs> anyway. I'm full now and I'm ready to go. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's take a look at a screen share here. Okay, we're going to be looking today at phrasal verbs that also can be adjectives. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, we have two lists uh, of five here. On the left side, are the phrasal verbs, build up, cut off, knock down, etc. Or in this list, run away, stand out, tense up, etc. Uh, and on the right side are the adjective forms, build up, built up, okay, cut off, knock down, uh, the adjective forms of these phrasal verbs. Uh, briefly, Phrasal verbs are, are made up of usually fairly simple verbs, normally, plus uh, what you commonly think of as a preposition uh, together to form basically a word, uh, a two-word word, <laughs> or a phrasal, more than one word is a phrase, a phrasal verb with uh, one or more possible meanings, possibly very concrete physical meaning, as well as normally uh, much more abstract meanings. Uh, okay, of course, 
when we add this preposition to a verb, it's no longer a preposition. It becomes a particle or a part of the phrasal verb, or more appropriately, an adverbial particle, because uh, adverbs are used to modify verbs, so it's an adverbial particle. Okay, today we're specifically looking at words that have um, an alternate form, which is an adjective. You notice the adjectives. Many of them are hyphenated adjectives. Okay. Uh, a couple of them have are, are not hyphenated. They are basically working as a compound. Uh, and uh, others sometimes perhaps to make the uh, adjective form, perhaps the, the preposition or particle is moved to the front of the main verb. Anyway, uh, hopefully we can learn some new vo vocabulary and see how this works. Uh, welcome to the class, Vu. Hello, again. Hello, teacher. <laughs> nice to see you again. Yes. I just, have, I just had a, a, a lunch with my uh, sister. Did you? And what did you have for lunch? Uh, Rye <laughs> vegetable and uh, fish. Me too. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Be careful about pronouncing rice. Make sure rice. you pronounce the s. Rice and fish. Uh, okay. Okay, teacher. Me too, Vu. That's what I had. Rice and fish and mixed vegetables. Hello, Heidi. How are you? Oh, nice to see you again. Likewise. How are you doing today? Mm. It, uh, my job uh, has just finished. <laughs> Your job has just finished? Okay. Yeah. Homework. Home job. Oh. What? Home job. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So you just finished up your work? It finishes at 3, 3 p.m. Oh, okay. All right. Well, welcome to the class. Um, all right. Let's get started, all right, by choosing, uh, our, making a choice from up here. We're going to fill in the blank. So, Zuli, I'm going to have you start. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read the sentence. See if you can figure out what hey. phrasal verb fits. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, the fly was annoying him, so he um, uh, rolled up a newspaper and tried to hit it. Yes. Okay, very good. And, of course, phrasal verbs work the same as regular verbs as far as past, present, uh, future, perfect, or continuous tenses. So, very good. Um, that's right. Rolled up, past tense. Uh, of the rolled verb. up, rolled up. No. Yes. Okay. In past. In past tense. That's correct. You, you got it right. Um, all right. And then the adjective. You notice the fly was annoying him, so he tried to hit it with a rolled up newspaper. The hyphenated mm -hmm. adjective form. All right. To describe the newspaper, a, a noun. Okay, so adjectives described now. Okay, very good. Uh, Zuli, have you ever rolled up a newspaper to swat a fly? Uh, yes. Who hasn't? Uh, the, <laughs> yes. uh, it's, very, it's very common. Sure, everywhere. Yes. I think everywhere. everyone has done that. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, Vu. Why don't you go next? Number two here. Yes. Uh, Ji Win was wearing a pair of jeans which, ha which she had uh, just above the key. Up the knee. The knee, All right. Uh, okay. Ji Win was wearing a pair of jeans. Um, I think. Uh, she had cut off. Indeed. Just she had cut off. Yes. Okay. 
Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, she had cut off just above the knee. First of all, Vu, yes. uh, this name, it's common English name, it's Gwen. 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 Yes. Ah. Okay. Ji, ji sao is silent. Gwen. No, no. Every, the G and the W are pronounced Gwen. Gwen. Go. Go. Gwen. Gwen. That's better. That's it. Okay. Is it Sorry? Uh, the name is uh, Vietnam. Vietnam. No. Gwen? Yeah. Uh, no. Actually, you know what? Uh, I actually know a little bit about this because I'm a geek. Do <laughs> uh, you guys know who Guinevere is? Some, I feel some Asian name, except Japan or uh, China. Uh, actually, this Guan. is very, very British. In fact, very, very... Oh, British? Yeah, in fact, it's very, very um, uh, Welsh. Uh, do you know who Guinevere is? Anybody? Guinevere what? Guinevere. I, I wrote it in the verli verbling chat box. Guinevere. It's a proper name. No? It's no. wife of King Arthur. Very good. That is correct. In some versions of the legend, she became Lancelot's lover. And that yes. led to the end of the King Knights of the Round Table. Ah, uh, correct. Okay, <laughs> anyway, yes. So, Gwen is a derivative... Uh, it comes directly from Guinevere, which is indeed a very old English name, British name. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, okay. And, of course, the adjective form you've probably heard many times. Gwen was wearing a pair of cut-off jeans. All right. Cut-off jeans, of course. I think we all know what that is. Uh, all right. Okay. Um, okay, Michael, uh, why don't you try the next one? We couldn't, we couldn't control the bull, which and headed for the mayor out. Knocked down. Yeah. <laughs> which knocked down? Wait a no, minute. No, ran away, ran away. Oh, okay. Which so ran away and for headed it. for the main road. Okay, which ran away, past tense, all right. Ran away. Okay. There was panic as the runaway bull headed for the main road. Excellent, okay. Um, of course, any animate object could run away, any person or animal, uh, right. Uh, what, uh, what other things could we use the adjective runaway? for? Runaway bull. Sure. Is there anything else, Michael? Can you think of anything? Runaway mania. <laughs> Heaven forbid. Uh, I don't think so. That's a new one for me. Can, uh, can anybody think of another co-location with runaway? Runaway and a noun. Anybody? No? Okay. Runaway thief. Runaway thief? thief? Yes. Mm, <laughs> no. no. Okay. Uh, the, the reason that I brought this up is because I, I need you to understand the adjective form runaway means kind of uh, out of control. Uh, you don't know what direction it's going to go. So uh, a thief probably knows exactly where he wants to go. Oh. Runaway means kind of out of control. So runaway bull... Uh, Runaway train is a very common co-location. A train that cannot be stopped is a runaway train. Very dangerous. Uh, okay, but also more abstract things. Michael wasn't all that wrong when he said runaway money because runaway inflation, for example, would be very common. Runaway inflation, out of control. Nobody knows what direction it's going to go. Yeah. Teacher, can you write uh, inflation in a uh, chess box? Sure. Inflation. Runaway inflation. I think um, 
there is should be a, something runaway money because uh, English is English is very flexible. So yeah, okay. I, so I googled see? runaway money of this, and I see this kind of uh, expression. What I does mean, it I mean? It's not written, but uh, it's sure like uh, there's like a video clip, runaway money. I see a video clip. Hmm. So. I don't know exactly what it would mean because runaway as an adjective kind of means out of control and unpredictable. Uh, so I don't know. Really, I can't really put together what that would mean. Runaway money, my out of control money. I don't know where it's going. Okay. Runaway expenses. I can understand that. So here is an article. Runaway money. The name of the article is runaway money. Hmm. Written by some person. Okay, I interesting. Okay. Anyway, in the meantime, Heidi, let's go to number four here. Mm -hmm. We ought to recycle things to reuse, not to throw them away. I right. live in a throwaway society. There are no many things we could reuse. Yeah. Sad but true, right? Uh, yeah, okay. Throw away as a compound. Throw away society. Yeah, true. Um, also, sometimes we talk about things like a paper cup. Oh, it's a throwaway cup. Um, sometimes we use it like that to talk about specific actual physical things. Uh, throw away society. Very common collocation. All right. Yeah, throw something away, you put it in the garbage. Uh, um, that's right. Uh, is there anything else you could throw away, Heidi? Besides garbage, what else do you throw? What could you throw away? A lot of things. Throw away. A lot of things. Friendship. Aha! Very good. That's what I was looking for. Um, more abstract ideas. Throw away. You could throw away friendship or throw away a friendship. Mm -hmm. Very good. You could throw away an opportunity, for example. Very good. Yes. Uh, sorry. Uh, throw, throw away uh, has a similar means uh, that uh, take out. Uh, okay, interesting. Um, similar but different. Okay, I think you're think. T okay, take out. You take out the garbage, for example. Uh -huh. um, you remove it, obviously, from inside your house to somewhere outside, so somebody can haul it away. Uh, okay, take out the garbage means you're removing it. You throw away something, you're basically um, kind of wasting it. You throw away a chance, you're wasting a chance. You throw away a friendship, you're wasting a friendship. You throw away, uh, you know, uh, you throw away a gum wrapper, okay, well, I guess you're wasting it, who cares, but you're you're disposing of the gum wrapper. It's definitely not the same as um, you take out the garbage. Taking out the garbage means you're taking all the garbage in the house, putting it in one bag, and removing it to outside. You, mm -hmm. uh, you normally you don't say, "Oh, my wife doesn't say." Can you throw away the garbage? She she would have to say, "Can you take out the garbage?" So a mm -hmm. bit different. All right. All right. All right. Uh, um, Ken. Hello, Ken. Hello, Ken. Hello, Hello Ken. Ken. How are you? How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I think there's an echo. 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 Really? Yeah. No. 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 I'm doing that on purpose. Purpose. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. I don't know why. Sorry, Ken. <laughs> I'm just having fun. Okay, Ken, I'm going to throw you to the wolves. All right, if you guys don't know that idiom, you send someone in without 
to do something without any instructions or without any um, training or or anything like that. You throw them to the wolves. So Ken, I'm, I'm throwing you to the wolves. Go ahead here. Number five. Yes. He's one of the best. She belongs as one of the great great actresses of this century. Is he? Mm. He's one of the best. He made up makeup. She blank as one of the great actresses. Ma makeup. She she made up as one of the great actresses. Mm, no, that doesn't really work. Okay. Build okay. build up. She built up. <laughs> you know, that doesn't quite work either. The main clue is D is one of the best. Uh, yeah, she's the best actress. Okay. okay, you can read the next. Maybe the Road next up. one will help. Road up. Yeah. No, maybe you can try the next. One of the actresses of this century. One of the uh, blank actresses of this century. Uh, outstanding. Stand out. Outstanding. Yes, yes. Right. Exceptional. Outstanding. One of the outstanding actresses of mm -hmm. this century. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So it's okay. It's a little bit of a strange construction, to tell you the truth. I don't really like this, because usually this collocation is one of the most adjective. Is the usual phrasing. You don't usually say one of the adjective. Okay. Mm -hmm. It depends. Mm -hmm. uh, well, because you're going to, one of the, you're going to use a superlative. All right? So, one of the brightest actresses. Okay. Of course, with outstanding, we have to use most or least mm -hmm. to make it into a, a superlative adjective. So, this is actually, I, I really don't like this. It should be most outstanding. Okay. One of the smartest, one of the cutest, one of the hugest. It should be a superlative. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway. All right. Okay. So uh, the first one, of course, then can she uh, stands out? St well, past tense. Uh, stood out. Stood. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stand. Present tense. Stood. Past tense. She stood out as one of the great actresses. Okay. What just stood out? <clears throat> um, if you are noticeable above all the rest, uh, Michael Jordan uh, clearly stood out as one of the greatest basketball players of all time. He, you know, if you put him in a room of a hundred other basketball players, it's Michael Jordan. Remarkable. Know? What's that? Remarkable. Yes. Mm -hmm. You, uh, uniquely remarkable. Um, the person that definitely shows up and is noticeable compared to everyone else. Okay. Uh, let's move on. Zuli, number six. Whoa, what the? Zuli, are you there? Zuli, no, not sure what happened to your audio. So I will come back to you. Sorry, uh, Zuli, I can't hear you right now. Vu, can you try number six? Yes, uh, relax. Try not to knock down sh so much your own knockdown. Try, to try not to relax. knock down so much? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I, I don't know about that. that, that okay. while, while grammatically correct, that's kind of funny. Um, I might say that to uh, a drunken friend, who 
who's had too much alcohol to drink, I might tell my friend, relax, try not to knock down so much. <laughs> yes. You keep knocking things over. Stop it. Relax. Just sit there. Don't move. <laughs> okay. Uh, but probably yeah. not the best answer here. The, the key is relax. Yes. Okay. Try the adjective form. You're all something. Try to relax. You're all... What do you... It's not knockdown, that's for sure. You're all something. Try to relax. Oh, yes. What do you think? Vu? Uh, teacher, what do you uh, ask me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, trying, we're looking, okay, it's not knocked down, that is wrong, okay, oh. so we're still looking for the correct answer. Yes. So I suggested we look for the adjective form, you're all something, try to relax. All right, mm. so looking at the adjectives, you're all built up, you're all run away, okay, you're all something, try to relax. Then, sh then shop. Ah, uh, very good. You're all tensed, tensed, tensed up. Tensed up. Yeah, you're all tensed up. Okay. Uh, exactly. Relax. Try not to tense up so much. All right? For the verb form. All right. Tense up. Okay. Your muscles actually tighten and you start breathing heavy and you're sweating. All right. You're tensed up. Okay, closely related to tension or tense. Well, obviously, tense. Uh, okay, um, Michael, number seven. I wasn't, I wasn't taken in. He obviously, uh, that story made up. I wasn't taken in by what was absolutely. Uh, so what uh, the options? I thought you just said it. Okay. Yeah? Is that option there? Okay. Made up. Yes, it is. Make up and then made up. Yes. He obviously made up that story, past tense. Uh, oh, actually, it's made up for both of us. A made up story. Okay. An imagined story. Uh, now, okay. Uh, made up or make up can mean to imagine, create create something out of from imagination. Uh, what else? Make up is one of these phrasal verbs that has multiple meanings. Uh, Michael? Yeah, make what up. else? Yeah. When you put on your face, like make up. <laughs> Alright, you make up your face and that has a obviously has a noun form. Uh, make make up. up like cosmetics, right? Uh, very good. Uh, any others? No, I cannot recall. I cannot recall. Maybe there is something, but uh, I can't. Okay. Make a relationship like uh, before. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Repair a relationship. That's right. You make up with your husband or wife or girlfriend or boyfriend after you have a fight. Hopefully, you make up with them. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, that's right. Uh, also... Uh, maybe you missed a test at university, so the, your professor, if he's nice, may allow you to take a makeup test. Ooh, a makeup test. Oh, well, there you go. That's actually, uh, I'm using that as an adjective, a makeup test, or you can make up the test later as a verb. Okay, so multiple meanings there. To repeat uh, or what? Makeup test. Um, test or what? Not exactly repeat because you never took it in the first place. So you're not repeating oh. it. You missed okay. the test. So you get to make it up okay. uh, later. Um, substitute for it, I guess. Kind of, in a way. Uh, okay, Heidi. Uh, where are we? Here what? we go. Where? Here. Mm -hmm. Why does jogging leave you full energy, but 
What? Huh? What? Something me something. What? I, I want to see it. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> uh, Why does jogging give you energy, but it blank, blank me blank? <laughs> Be out. Warm now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. Uh, here, obviously, we have a phrasal verb where the object noun. But uh, why does jogging leave you full of energy? But uh, where's me? Out? Where's very good subject verb agreement. Where's me out? Yeah. Um, okay. Here we have obviously. Uh, this uh, is an example of a phrasal verb which is separable. Mm -hmm. Heidi, can I say um, it? Okay, I can say it wears me out. Can yeah. I say it uh, wears out me? Uh, no, I don't think so. For I example, uh, we are some we are out under other name. It's okay. Right? Um, uh, we are out Oakley. Okay, it wore out Oakley. Mm -hmm. It wore out my children. Going to the birthday party wore out my children. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Very good, Heidi. You're absolutely correct. But using pronouns um, after the phrasal verb doesn't work. Wore out me. It, did it wore, wear out you? Yeah, you can't do it. You have to put pronouns. Have to separate the verb and particle. Very good. Okay. And of course... Uh, Worn out. Worn out. I'm so worn out. Uh, what else can be worn out besides the person? And uh, clothes. Yeah, of I course. I knew you'd know that. Worn out. Yeah, of course. Yeah, your shoes wear out. Your pants wear out. Sure. Your car wears out. Lots of things can wear out, of course. Uh, okay. Can. Oops. Okay. Um, there's no way for children to play now. There's uh, uh, being so blank. There's no way for children to play in a blank area like this. And, and options are. Um, um, cut, cut off? Cut off? I don't think so. We've already used cut off. Uh, this area has been so cut off. Actually, that's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> an, air, so... an area can be cut off. Actually, that's a common co-location. Mm -hmm. For example, if there's a huge flood. Oh, my goodness. We can't get to the third prefecture. It's been cut off by the flood. That area mm -hmm. has been cut off. It is possible, but I don't think that's what they want here. Build, build up. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. This area has been so built up. Yeah. Built okay. Up. All right. And there's nowhere for children to play in a built-up area like this. Mm -hmm. All right. A built-up area obviously has many, many buildings and... Mm -hmm. There's no open space for the children is the problem. Okay, we use this to talk about urban sprawl, more more buildings. It's been built up for the last 10 years. Uh, okay, uh, Zuli, are you there? Zuli, can you try speaking? Zuli, are you there or are you on a brief break? I don't know. Okay, Zuli, when you come <laughs> come back, say hello so I know I can talk to you. Okay, Vu, I, I guess we'll let you handle the last one here. Okay. After some uh, bargaining, uh, bargaining, I managed to uh, the price of the chair by ten pounds. Hmm. After some bargaining, I managed to 
Knockdown. Sure. Knockdown, yes. Okay. Uh, decrease the price. Decrease the pr decrease the price. Decrease the price. Yeah, don't forget the S sounds. Okay. <clears throat> Managed to decre decrease. Oh, sorry, knock down the price of the chair <laughs> by ten pounds. All right. Uh, I did. Oh. Go ahead. I did some bargaining and bought this chair at a knockdown price. Okay. Very good. A knockdown price. All right. Very good. Lower than expected. Uh, okay. Um, okay, yeah, good to learn the nouns with the phrasal verbs as you, together, as we're doing. All right, fine. Um, okay, it states that the adjectives in this exercise are even more common than the phrasal verbs. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, anyway, okay, let's just move on. Uh, dun, 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 dun. All right, new list. We have a new list of pairs. Breakaway, come in. Ooh, incoming. Mm -hmm. Knock out, pick up, put off, sit down, speak out, start up, tire out, touch up. All right, let's jump right in. Uh, Michael, numero uno. Most of the flights were late, so we didn't know when she would arrive. Most of them were late. Mm. Uh, put off? No. no. Uh, start up. No. Uh, come in, incoming. Okay, very good. Yes. Yeah, the adjective's a big uh, clue here for the next sentence. Most of the incoming flights were late because of a strike. Yes. Uh, very common collocation, of course, incoming with flights, uh, obviously. Uh, okay. So, incoming flights. What else is incoming? Calls. Michael. Incoming calls. Yeah, very good. All right. Yeah. Okay. Incoming traffic. Uh, possibly, yeah. All right. Very uh, good. Incoming, uh, uh, like, uh, imp no, like yeah. commerce. Um, all right. Incoming <laughs> products or goods, possibly, that are being imported like that. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Uh, how about it when a soldier screams... Incoming! Do you ever watch I don't know. war movies? No? No, Pretty I much. played in war mo in games, but I never had. Really? Pretty much every uh, American war movie that you will ever see in your entire life, someone will sh shout, Incoming. It means there are missiles being fired at you now. So, if you're there in your hometown and you hear an English speaker scream, Incoming, Get down. Get down now. There are missiles coming. <laughs> That's what it means. People are shooting at you. They would uh, cover. Fire in the hole. Ah, that's, that is when you are the one actually setting off the explosion. Then you yell, fire in the hole, to warn everybody else. When somebody else is shouting at you, uh, sorry, shooting at you, missiles or any projectiles, that is when you yell, incoming! There you go. Now you know. Emergency English. Uh, okay. Um, one more thing, Michael. The verb tense here. Most of the flights were... Ca came in? Uh the clue were yeah were came in nope that doesn't what? work there's no verb to be and then came in and then past tense do uh, nope we have the verb to be so past tense this is going to be past continuous were 
coming in. Coming in. We're oh, coming okay. In yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Heidi, next. Oh, teacher, uh, I want yeah. to ask you, uh, what Please. does this mean of a strike? A strike? Strike, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Most of the incoming flights were late because of a strike. All right. A strike is when workers organize amongst oh. themselves and the workers decide that the company is not being fair because of benefits or low pay or safety concerns or whatever reason they have and the workers go on strike they refuse to work until the conditions are changed oh and uh, i i also think uh, like you um, but uh, i don't understand why uh, a strike can uh, can cause the the light the life, the life well, on flight. <laughs> well, because there's there's no workers to put the luggage on the. There's no workers <laughs> to actually fix the plane. There's no workers to put the gasoline <laughs> in the plane. There's oh, yes. no there's no workers to guide the plane from the control tower. I think you can oh. see that this may cause delays. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Right. Right on. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Heidi. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. One group disagrees with the leader and uh, sits down. Uh, no. Mm, no. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, no. Start, uh, start up. Uh, no. Not start up. Okay, start it up and form their own party. Mm, no, because form kind of means very close to start it up. Not exactly, but... Aha. Uh -huh. Speak out? <laughs> no. Wow. Ooh, this is a good one to know, actually. All right, does it help to look at the adjective form? He formed a blank party. Uh, pretty common co-location. First one? First one? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes, Michael. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. it, it is breakaway. Breakaway party? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm never heard of a breakaway party. Okay, well, good. You have learned something today. Mission okay. successful. Okay, then broke away, broke away, and formed their own party. Yes, that's right. Uh, sometimes you may hear broke off as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, one group broke off and formed their own party, or broke away. Either one, they both basically mean the same thing. Uh, and then collocation, a breakaway party. Mm -hmm. uh, also. A breakaway party, a breakaway organization, also often called maybe a splinter group. Uh, a splinter group is uh, basically synonymous with breakaway party. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Ken, number three. Uh, the protesters broke in the middle of the road and refused to move. Uh, I think sit sit down. Yeah. Okay, but uh, verb tense. Okay. Protesters sat down. Yes, sat down. Okay, and refused to move. Uh, yes, and of course the ad uh, adjective form. This days a uh, sat uh, sit down. Uh, protest. Right. Extremely, extremely common co-location. A sit-down protest. Or sometimes a sit-down strike, actually, going back to Vu's concern. Uh, sit-down protest. Uh, okay. I, I was thinking maybe it was 
the protesters tired out in the middle of the road. <laughs> they got tired. Uh, I can't protest anymore. It's too much exercise. Maybe not. Okay. Zuli. Zuli, hello. Zuli, you may want to try uh, leaving the class and coming back. Sometimes that helps and you can have uh, your uh, audio back. I'm not sure if you're just missing, but I can see that your microphone keeps being muted and unmuted, so I think you're there. If you can hear, hear me, one sometimes the only solution is to leave the Hangout and then come back. Uh, by going back to Verbling or simply copy-pasting the address. You can do that too, by the way, and anybody who ever has this problem. What I do is I just copy-paste the URL for the particular Hangout and then open another window. It's faster. Uh, okay, anyway, Zuli, we'd love to have you back and participating. Um, okay, oops. Hi there. <laughs> just wanted to say hi. Uh, okay. Next. Vu, I guess. Yes. <laughs> uh, Percy hopes someone will lend him the capital to uh, start up his business. Very good. Yes. All right. Uh, and uh, Percy hopes someone will lend him lend him the startup capital for his business. Very good. Okay. Yes. Startup capital, very normal co-location. Startup business, also very normal. Uh, new business, very normal co-locations. Okay. Startup uh, obviously means to begin. Uh, Okay. Oh, teacher, how about, yeah. how about the startup uh, capital? What does this mean about, about this uh, collocation? Sorry? Startup capital. Uh huh. Startup capital, capital here means money. Oh, money. Yeah, so he needs startup money. Okay, Wait, teacher. Um, okay, it's another collocation. You can just simply say startup money. Okay, I right. understand. By the way, uh, startup capital, another synonym for that is seed money, if you ever hear that phrase. Seed money is money to start a company. Uh, all right, Michael, uh, number five. They have the photo of the president make uh, him look much younger. The okay. president is much older than the... Definitely, yeah, you do this to a photograph. No? But they, uh, they uh, can you give me the sentence again? Sentence. Sure. They have the photo of the president to make him look much younger. The president is much older than this. This is elderly uh, photo. Okay, and now options. This is clearly up. Touched up. Yes, touched up photo. Yes, often in conjunction with photos. You touch up a photo is the verb or the action. A touched up photo is one that has been photoshopped. Now, maybe you young people, maybe you're used to the word Photoshop as a verb, but before that, we actually touched up photos. Of course, you can touch up other things. You can touch up oh, your house, make it a little bit nicer, make small improvements. You can touch up an article of clothing, um, just make something a little bit more improved, a little bit nicer. Zuli, are you back with us? Uh, yes, can you hear me now? <laughs> yes, I can. 
so lovely to have you back. Welcome back. Sir, I don't know why, why it happened. It happens to the best of us, trust me. It happens to all of us sooner or later. Not your fault. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. Uh, can you try number six here? Yes, but I can see the text. Uh, can you show me the text, please? I can open the link. Sure. Okay. Can you see it now? Or Hang on. Uh, yes, number six. Oh, now I, just, I killed it by oh. accident. Hang on. Sorry. <laughs> I'm messing around here. Uh, okay, number six. Number six. Uh, I didn't get very far in the competition. Uh, I was. Uh, can you show me the option, please? I was something in the first round. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. up. Sorry. No. No. Uh, no. Knock, knock out. Knocked out in the first round. Indeed. Very good. Okay, I was knocked out in the first round. All right. Uh, it w it all right. was in the first competition, and unfortunately, I didn't get past the first round. All right, a knockout competition, you lose and you're out, in other words. Only the winner may advance. That's a knockout competition. Uh, obviously, uh, a knockout also refers to, for example, like boxing, when you hit someone in the head and be cause them to become unconscious. All right, mm -hmm. that's obviously a knockout as well. Uh, what is a, okay, uh, a noun, a knockout, is when somebody's punched and a, it's a knockout, okay, often used for boxing. This is, Anybody else know another meaning for a knockout? Uh -huh, uh -huh. More very slang. Very tired. Decree. Could, could be very tired. If my children were knocked out. Okay, that's very true. Decree mean, the price. Uh, no, that's... Oh. Okay, okay, that's not knocked out. That's knock off. Uh, no or, off. Uh, oh, knock off. So knock down. Knock down. Um... No, I totally going a totally different way here just to mess with you guys. I just I remembered a noun, a form of a knockout. Totally different. Uh, usually to talk about someone of the opposite gender who is extremely attractive. All right, some girls looking at the lifeguard on a beach may call him a knockout. Or guys talking about a model. They call her a knockout. Okay. Anyway, Vu. Uh, no, not Vu. Where are we? Who, who are we? Uh, actually, Heidi, your turn. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I, thought, I fall down so many times on my ski in the holiday that it tired me out ever going on uh, one again. No. no. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> this is a little harder than it appears. Uh, the choice. Okay. After. Okay. You can also look at the second sentence. Maybe easier. After that, you know, mm -hmm. oh, what the choice? Okay. Here you go. Mm hmm. No. No. Off putting. No. Yeah. Mm hmm. That it, you're correct. All right. After such an off, off putting experience, I'll never go on a skiing holiday again. All right. Okay. 
it put me off ever going on one again. Okay, if something puts you off or is off-putting, that's an adjective, um, it means it sort of alienates you. It, uh, the opposite of attracts you, something turns you on, you really like it or enjoy it. You want to do it again. If something puts you off, maybe someone's behavior. Um, the way he chews with his mouth full really puts me off, and I'm not going to have dinner with him again, for example. Yuck. Uh, okay. Ken, number eight. The, the coach kept stopping on the way to the point port to blank passengers. There were several blank points on the way to the port. The options okay. are... Hmm. Mm. Mm. Uh, start, start up. No. No, we've already done start up. Uh, start up uh, business. Uh, ti tired out. Tired out? Hmm. <laughs> the, <laughs> the coach kept stopping on the way to the port to tire out the passengers. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't mm. think so. There are several several, tired, several tired out points um, on the way. No, no. no maybe it. several difficult power points. Difficult to Okay. Pass through points. Uh, on the way to the port to what passengers? Okay. Um mm. the, the key here is passengers. This phrase is gonna ah, be pick up. Pick up, of pick course. Up. Yes. You pick up uh, and drop off. Pick up, you you get the passenger, drop off, you get rid of the passenger. Mm -hmm. Yes, you pick up and drop off passengers. All right. Mm -hmm. Pick up points, common co-location, common phrase. Different specific areas where you can get picked up mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. taken somewhere. Oh, okay. Uh, Vu, try number nine. Uh, yes, it, it looks as if doing on that hard work I had really shown. Mm. All right, doing all that really hard tired work. Out. Tired out. Yeah, tired out, John. Tired out. Okay, or tired John out. This can be separable. All right, very common adjective here. John looks really tired out after doing all that hard work. Uh, okay, Zuli, one more. Um, Barbara was an afraid to something and criticized uh, government policy. Barbara was an something critic of government government policy. Um, can you show me the option, please? Okay. Um, Mm -hmm. I can't see. Barbara wasn't afraid to. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, Zuli. Yes, I can. I can see the option. <laughs> okay. Here they are again. Um. Um, that, that time? You, uh, no. Start up. Uh, no. Barbara wasn't afraid to something against the government. Mm. Break away against the government? No. no. Break up. Come in? No. Knock out? No. Pick up? No. Put off? No. no. Sit no. down against the government? No. I'm going to sit down. Speak out no. against the government? 
ding 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. Speak out. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be, speak out. Uh, Barbara wasn't afraid to speak out and criticize the government. Barbara was an outspoken critic. Very common co-location. An outspoken person is somebody who's not afraid to share their opinion with the world. Okay. Uh, so if you're very outspoken, um, then you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna tell people exactly what you think about things. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, um, that will do it for today. We're already over time, so thank you very much for joining the class. Hopefully, you learned a little vocabulary, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.